Hello everyone, welcome back to TGR That's Gaming Robbo. In this video we will take an in-depth look into a formation and tactic you may know about already, but I have given it my own slightly different player instructions. Now we will take a look into the tactic and player instructions thoroughly, but first make sure to smash like on the video, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell too guys. Now let's hit the intro, we can see the formation and tactics along with the end results of this team season using this formation and tactic. So guys as you can see we are managing Manchester United and throughout the season they'd only lost three games scoring 80 goals and scoring 20 and conceding 26. Now just long, just before we do have a look at the formation and the player instructions, have a quick look. Charity Shield, they won 2-0. FA Cup, they won that as well. Uh, the League Cup, they got to the final but lost to, uh, lost to Arsenal. And in Europe, they won the Champions League as well. So literally, the only thing they didn't win was the League Cup, which is pretty incredible. <clears throat> But this is the tactic that I'm talking about, which, like I said at the beginning of the video, you all more than likely do know this tactic anyway. But I've given it my own little different sort of spiel, my own little uh, jazz to it. So I've got the, the mentality of uh, the team is attacking, mixed passing, normal tackling, pressing and offside trap is yes. Now what I have done is I made sure that uh, with some of the player instructions, they're slightly different. So first of all, I've made sure that the goalkeeper is always doing short passing. You've, I think you need to have a good goalkeeper with uh, good, passing, um, good passing skills. Uh, so the right back, I've got passings mixed, um, pressings yes, uh, set pieces always staying back, forward runs, running with the ball, try through balls and cross the ball in. Same goes with the left back. It, left back, it is exactly the same. So you do need a player that's going to have good stamina, good pace, good acceleration, good crossing, good passing. So there's a lot of things that you need to look into if you're going to do this uh, this formation with the with the player instructions. Now with the centre backs, I've kept it pretty simple because they've got a defensive one defensive midfielder in front of them. So I've gone passings direct set pieces yes and nothing else has been ticked uh, the same again for the other centre back now with the defensive midfielder I've got a few things set up so passing's direct so he's got three players in front of him tackling's hard um, set pieces attacking um, he's going forward now the only thing only selection I put yes to is forward runs hold up the ball long shots and through balls so once again you need someone who's got good tackling good stamina good long shooting good um, passing and you know good in, in a sense you know he needs he needs a lot of strength as well now with the central midfielders uh, passings mixed because there's no one in attacking midfield so you've got that big space there so I've gone with mixture so obviously if they need to do long balls to the attackers they do so uh, forward for this uh, set pieces attack him forward runs yes run with ball yes long shots yes th and try and throw balls so with the central midfielders I've made sure that all of them do not cross the ball in as you can see it is all exactly the same <clears throat> And with the strikers, I'll go with Paul Scholes first of all. So set pieces and um, at attacking and defending, they're both forward. Forward runs, yes. Run with ball, yes. Long shoot, lo sorry, long shots and try through balls. All selected, yes. So with a striker, you need someone who's got good, uh, good pace, good strength, good long shooting, good finishing, and uh, someone who's got good passing too. And with uh, Ruud van Nistelrooy, because I've got one right-hand sided striker who does one thing and one left-hand side striker who does the other. So I made sure that he goes pressing yes. Uh, that's the only little bit of difference and plus he's got a free roll as well. So that's the only, t that's the only difference compared to the other uh, striker which I've done with Paul Scholes. And quickly just looking through some of the stats here, uh, as you can see... Rude van Nistelrooy, 32 goals. Veron, 25. Solskjaer, 19. It's the most I've ever seen from him, actually. Paul Scholes, 16. 
and the rest as you can see assists it all actually is balanced out pretty well between the top five which is pretty good actually and uh, passing success rate I mean Wes Brown 81% from 33 first team appearance starts pretty good uh, tackle rate Roy Keane I've never seen it that high 6.4 before but then again with the hard tackling and him literally being a robust defensive midfielder sticking there I'm not surprised it's that high uh, average rating as you can see they're all pretty good to be fair I mean you've probably got a couple there that doesn't look that great i.e. like Laurent Blanc for example but guys, if you have liked this uh, this little informative video, please make sure that you do smash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell too. And plus, have a look at this video too. You may also like this video too as well. I think it will help you tremendously. But guys, thank you very much for your time. I look forward to seeing each and every one of you. The next video that we have on this channel here at TGR, that's Gaming Robbo. <laughs> Game over.